students welcome to Gambit. Today I will show you how to derive second equation of motion by graphical method. Now we know that second equation of motion is s equals to ut plus half at square. So today I will show you how to derive s equals to ut plus half at square by graphical method. So first we will draw the graph. So here we use velocity time graph. So this x axis denotes time and y axis represents velocity. Now suppose a body is moving with initial velocity u and final velocity now body starts moving from point A and reaches to point B. This is O. Now this OA, this OA represents initial velocity U. Now draw a perpendicular from point B. So BC. This BC is Final velocity V. Now draw a part, parallel line to OC from point A. And this intersecting point is D. Now distance travelled by the body. That is S equals to area of OABC. So area of figure OABC. Now this figure OABC consists of rectangle OABC and ABD triangle. So area of OABC is equal to area of rectangle OADC plus area of triangle ABD. Now area of rectangle OADC, it's a rectangle that means length into breadth. Here OA into OC. So OA into OC plus area of triangle ABD. Now area of triangle is half into base into height. Here AD is the base. So half into base that means half into AD into height. BD is the height. Now now from this graph we can see that OA equals to U, initial velocity. So here we replace OA by U. And OC, OC represents time T. So in the place of OC I write T plus half into AD. Here AD equals to OC. AD equals to OC. So OC equals to T. That means AD equals to also T. Now BD. From first equation of motion, we get BD equals to AD. Now put this value here. So S equals to UT plus half T into AD. That is AD square. This is the second equation of motion. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe and click the bell icon so that you will get the notification of our all videos.